<sighs> hey guys. So I'm back home now from the Refriends and Microwave show, which was yesterday in Paris. Um, it was really great. But I thought I would share something with you that happened after a concert. Um, <laughs> so this is really embarrassing, but I feel the need to talk about it briefly, more or less, because I just it's the first time that it's happened, and I just feel like sharing it. Um, so after the show, I stayed a bit to meet Dan. Um, I saw him several times during the day, but I didn't really want to bother him. So I just, you know, waited for the end of the show to hang out with him a bit and talk for a while and just, you know, do what normal people do, which is talking and just hanging out, you know, chilling and everything. And I just wanted to, I just went and I thanked him for the show, which was amazing. I'm sorry, my hair is... Is a mess right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I told you that the show was amazing and all that jazz. Um, but during the show, he he talked about um, the fact that he that they had to cancel the tour um, a few months back, back in December, because um, he was not okay and he was just his depression was getting bad and he just wasn't good enough to to do the show to the shows in Europe and in the UK, which is totally understandable. And he's really happy for himself for taking some time off, listening to his body and just doing what he felt was right, which was right. And I really recommend to anyone struggling from anxiety, depression or any mental illness to do the same thing. Um, because if you if you need it, do it. Um, it's for your health and it's for your well-being and it's really important. And so basically he was talking about this and <clears throat> it was encouraging anyone with a mental illness to go see a therapist if you if we need it and not to feel like we're too fucked up to, to deserve help or he talked about um, looking for help if we think we need it because we we aren't people we don't it's just not okay to feel like you're not doing you're not doing bad enough not to deserve help. Um, if you're suffering for it and you actually need help, which everyone who suffers from that do, does, um, well, to just go and reach for help. And it just really moved me and uh, I talked to, talked to him about it at the end of the show because um, I was really thankful for him talking about this because he was really genuine. He came from someone who knew what he was talking about because he actually suffers from that kind of thing. And... <clears throat> And I just wanted to thank him. I just wanted to, yeah, just thank him for this and, and you know, like, and it's here and tell him that <clears throat> a lot of people, including me, would be very thankful for, for that and for the, and this is probably also why we still went to the show because, because we actually wanted to see him and we wanted to know more about what happened a few months ago exactly, you know, and I'm really glad he talked about it. And the part that I want to talk about, and I, is, I just can't stop thinking about it, so that's why I, I, I feel like I kind of have to share it. I'm sorry for the really bad lightning as well. My my window is right there, so that's. Um, and I just broke down. Um, I could barely form a sentence, and it was in the middle of the street, right in fr right in front of the Moulin Rouge, and I, I just I broke down. And. It's so, even right now, the day, the next day, um, talking about it and just uh, sharing it with you guys, it's just making me really, really, really embarrassed um, because I don't cry. I'm really not uh, a, pers a person who really cries. Uh, I'm not really a person who shows that kind of vulnerability. Um, to me, crying um, for my own person, in my opinion, um, I'm only talking about myself here, I'm not talking for everybody else. So to me crying is kind of a weakness. Um, to me it's showing that you're weak and it's just showing that you you don't have control over anything and you can fucking control your emotions and and that's why I never cry and I got so used to never crying that when it happens it's just really bad <laughs> depending on when it happens in the situation and context. But Usually, yeah, it's kind of bad, and and that's why, yeah, I broke down, and I just saw his face. He just, 
This is so embarrassing. It makes me so sad and but mostly mad because uh, I just saw his face. He was looking at me. He was really listening to me. He he was really interested in what I was saying, and we were just having conversation. And I broke down and. He was looking at me and he looked so sad all of a sudden, like he went from interested and serious to really sad and concerned and he was like, oh no, don't cry. And I just, I, I felt really, really embarrassed. Um, I didn't feel bad, I just felt really embarrassed for myself. And I just kind of wanted to die at that moment, like just cross the street and stay on the uh, on the freaking street and wait for a car to take me or something. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to freaking... Um, floor to swallow me down uh, yeah and it just he looked like he felt real bad because he, he just yeah he didn't want me to cry and I didn't want to cry and I ended up crying and and everyone was trying to comfort me because I couldn't form a freaking sentence and and then we hugged and yeah I just wanted to share that um, <laughs> um, I don't mean that it's not okay to cry in public, uh, but I just, what I mean for from all this video and everything is just that it, it really moved me. What he said during the show, it just really moved me and it really hit me right in the feels and I was just so thankful and happy and my period probably had something to do with this, but I just... I wanted to thank him and I ended up crying, which I didn't want to do because I had already cried when he made your speech during the show. So I was like, okay, I shed some tears. I'm done for the day. I'm done for the month and maybe for the rest of the year. When I see him again, I'm not gonna fucking cry when I talk about it. I'm just gonna thank him, thank him for everything he did. I'm gonna congratulate him for the show, which was amazing. I'm gonna talk about it and talk about a few other stuff like I always do because I'm actually genuinely interested in having conversation with the people I look up to and with the band members that I like. I'm not just here for the picture and and the meeting and bye, you know, like 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 we done in meeting greets, like hello, how are you? I'm I'm great. How are you? I'm great. Let's take a picture. Bye. No, I'm just I'm really not here for that. Uh, I really want to have a conversation like two normal people do. Um, and I ended up praying, which I didn't want to do at all, but I did. And I just wanted to to share this with you guys. I don't really know where I'm going with this, um, but I just, yeah, I wanna say how great the show was. I'm really thankful for these guys. The microwave guys were really great as well, and I definitely bought their CD, which you should do as well to support them. Um, they're playing Warped this year, so you should go see them if you can. And I think they're doing all the days from the first to the last one. Um, so go check them out. Real friends aren't playing this year because they are apparently working on something new. Um, but, but yeah, and yes, I'm filming this in my room. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, honestly, for real, if you feel like you need help, <clears throat> if you feel like you need anything that you think might help you and your doctor feels the same way, um, if you're suffering from anything that you think needs to be talked about or is serious, I'm, I'm not saying that some stuff aren't serious enough, but like you feel like you really need to get off your chest, um, no matter who the person is, and it's very if it's a professional, obviously, go talk to them and go schedule an appointment with, with a therapist or something and, and reach out to, some, to someone, even if it's just a hotline or whatever, Call the, the people over there and just try to to get some help. Um, I'm not. There is no cure, but there's still hope, and I think you, everyone should hold on to some hope. Um, I think it's what makes the world go round. <laughs> We're all just hoping for everything to always get better, or whatever. Um, so, so yeah. Besides all that, the emotional part by and everything. Um, we just had fun. Honestly, the show was really great and I really, 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 really want to see them live again. Everyone was really into it. Everyone was really enthusiastic. Kai was saying. And and yeah, and I think they're having fun on tour even though they're really tired. And, 
And if you're in the UK, they're starting the UK tour um, tomorrow in Manchester, if I'm not mistaken. So go check them out. Honestly, they're playing a few days. I think they're doing London, Manchester, and all these, you know, cities that they always play at. So go check them out because it's the last day of the last dates of the tour, and then I don't think they're doing anything for a while. They're not even playing any festival this year. They're not playing any anything. So you guys just wanted to share this with you guys and i hope you enjoy have a great day and i'll see you on friday in my next video Bye.